So let's go through an exercise to uh, apply some of these techniques. So we're told to determine the rigidity of the shear wall shown below. Piers are fixed fix and are 12 inches in thickness. We're told to assume the diaphragm is rigid and use E equals 4,500 KSI. So in this case, we need to distribute the loads to the walls based on their rigidity, but we're told to determine the rigidity of the total shear wall here below, um, which is probably because we have a um, rigid diaphragm. So we've got a height of all the walls of 10 feet, and we've got a length of all the walls of actually six feet because we aren't going to consider the five foot openings as part of the shear wall. <clears throat> So we got walls A, B, and C. Okay, uh, so let's look at the solution here. So first we're going to determine the rigidity of each individual shear wall. Since walls A, B, and C have the same geometry and the same material properties, this step only needs to be completed once. So we also need to keep in mind that rigidity is the inverse of deflection. So R equals one over delta or one over deflection. So since walls A, B, and C have that same geometry as we saw, they're the same height, length, width, and material properties, RA is going to equal RB is going to equal RC, and the walls are in parallel. So our equation was the sum of all the rigidities of R equals RA plus RB plus RC. We take into account that all these have the same rigidity, so we just end up as three times RA, which could be three times RB or three times RC. Pick your favorite, I suppose. The wall ratio is H over L, or 10 feet over 6 feet, and we end up with 1.6. <clears throat> so you can see that we can just plug it into the equation over here for a fixed, fixed wall. So we plug it in, 1.6 and 1.6, or 3 is from the equation. We're told that the modulus elasticity was 4,500 KSI, and the thickness was 12 inches. Make sure that your units cancel out here too as well. They could give it the thickness in feet. Um, so you may have to multiply by a conversion factor. So in this case, the deflection of the wall is going to be 0 0.000165 inches per kip. The rigidity of a single wall is the reciprocal of deflection. So we're going to take one over the deflection and we end up with 6,070 kips per inch for the rigidity. The rigidity of the wall is going to be three times that rigidity because that was for a single wall there. So three times 6,070 is 18,210 kips per inch. <clears throat>